the next question is in how many of the mentioned months there are at least two days on which it rained not only in Punjab but also in exactly two more states you need to lay stress on the word exactly two more states coming to the data let's randomly consider one of the months as August now the total number of days on which it rained in August is 19 now let's consider the state Maharashtra so the number of days on which it did not train in Maharashtra in August will be 19 minus 14 that is equal to 5 so the number of days it trained in Punjab is 7 and the number of days it did not train in Maharashtra is 5 so even if we assume the worst possible case there will be at least two days on which it rained in Punjab as well as Maharashtra because 7 minus 5 is equal to 2 let's similarly consider the month of Karnataka the number of days on which it rained in Karnataka in August is 9 so number of days it did not rain will be 19 minus 9 that is equal to 10 so it's quite possible that all of these 7 days are out of these 10 days let's now consider the state of Haryana so the number of days on which it did not rain in Haryana in August will be 19 minus 15 that is equal to 4 so there are just 4 days on which it did not rain in Haryana so there will be at least 3 days on which it rained in Punjab and also Haryana so August is the month in which there are at least two days on which it rained not only in Punjab but also in exactly two more states similarly if we do this for all the remaining six months we will come out with a data such that there are only two months that is August and October for which there are at least two days on which it rained not only in Punjab but also in exactly two more states so the correct option is option 4 that is 2